And Callie's murder is the first of a Gambino boss since Big Paul Castellano was gunned down outside of Sparks Steakhouse back in 1985. Two astonishing shootings and a long storied history between the mob and others in the city. CBS 2's Dana Tyler here now with a closer look at La Cosa Nostra. Dana. All right, Maurice and Alice, the American mafia has been glorified in movies and in pop culture, but here in New York, the mob's five families helped shape the city while casting a shadow over it like a Manhattan high rise. Organized crime established its New York roots in the 1920s. During Prohibition, Italian families were aggressively waging war over territories and absolute control of lucrative bootlegging operations. It was a violent period, with Jewish and Irish gangs also vying for power. But it was ultimately Italian families, known as the Mafia, who prevailed. Over the next several decades, the dominant five families, Bonanno, Colombo, Gambino, Genovese, and Lucchese expanded into other business ventures, such as union, construction, and drug trafficking, among others. In 1972, Joe Gallo was shot outside Umberto's restaurant in Little Italy. Then U.S. Attorney Rudolph Giuliani announced his top priority was to defeat organized crime in New York. It was estimated that nearly 6,000 mob associates and so-called made men were living in the area at the time. Giuliani ordered wiretaps that captured conversations about drug sales and the murder of Bonanno leader Carmine Galanti in 1979. Another noteworthy assassination, Mafia boss Paul Castellano outside Spark Steakhouse in 1985. Another flamboyant New York crime figure was John Gotti, famously called the Teflon Don, Not guilty. as he successfully dodged convictions in a number of show-stopping trials. In 1992, he was eventually convicted of murder and racketeering, among other charges, and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. It was in part Gotti's high visibility that led to increased scrutiny of other so-called mafia figures. In recent years, that's changed to a more low-key presence to avoid scrutiny by police and the FBI. The mob today isn't like it was, and particularly with the Gambino crime family, I think with the Sicilian faction keeping things close to the vest and tamped down, that uh, it sort of remains to be seen. I don't think we're on the cusp of any any big mob war at this stage. The term mafia was actually coined by the media and law enforcement to describe criminal groups in Sicily. These groups and families generally use the term La Cosa Nostra, Italian for our thing when referring to themselves. But mafia is the predominant name used by law enforcement and the public. Maurice, Alice, Dana, right. thank you.